Greetings and welcome once again to another episode of STL Soccer Talk, the video edition here at stltoday.com and the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Uh, by process of elimination, I'm Tom Timmerman and this is my co-host Beth Lamelli. Hello Beth. Hello Tom. So, since we were here last, City has played its second regular season game, its fourth game overall, and it was, uh, from their point of view, an absolute delight. It, it was. It was actually very fun to watch, even from the press box. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I think it would be, you could look at that game, and if people wanted to know how St. Louis City plays, you could show them that game, and it would capture a lot of how they play. A lot of press, um, good passing, and a great goalkeeping from Berkey in several occasions. Well, one notable occasion. Uh, the back line was on fire. It was a great game. It was their most 2023 game of 2024. Mm -hmm. It was uh, they well in pretty much all facets. There were a few times the defense was caught out of position, and yeah. you saw Joachim Nielsen do what he, I guess he's expected to do, but some long runs, catching up with guys, and making nice tackles to, to get tackle. out of the way. Uh, and it's for a guy who left his previous game early because of an injury. He you know came back and and looked fine. You were saying last season that Nielsen had the potential to become a star and we really saw that during this game. He had great tackles, uh, great defense, seemed to fit in really well with Tim Parker on that back line. So I personally am excited to see more of that in upcoming games. Now Lutz Van Steel has said that he really Nielsen could be one of the, was one of the best defenders, will be one of the best defenders in MLS. So now we'll start to see because now he should be able to be playing mm -hmm. on a consistent basis. He hasn't had that so far. He didn't even, a little bit at the end of last year, but not a whole lot. He still was, needed some time off. But now the, the knee is fine, the glute, uh, the magic glute is fine. <laughs> and, uh, and he's uh, out there uh, showing what he can do. So that's very good. And so we may see that, what, that projected, expected mm -hmm. city back line of Doerr, Nielsen, Parker, and uh, Thomas Totland soon. Uh, we could see them uh, this week uh, when they play at Austin or maybe the following week, but it's coming soon. Nicholas Doerr finally got uh, in a game. So that's a, a big step forward for him. Two minutes plus stoppage time, and now he just needs to, needs to go. So we'll, we'll see how that works. Yeah, I think the team is looking for him to play a few more minutes than just two minutes in stoppage time, mm -hmm. which I think was eight minutes roughly? Yeah, I think that might have been. So 10 minutes all, you know, all in all. So it's, <laughs> they're getting there. Uh, and we should say, because uh, this happened after last week's video, but uh, City not taking part in the U.S. Open Cup uh, this year. And it, it was weird. They, they set up the arrangement that was reached was, well, if you're in the Champions Cup, you, you won't play in the Open Cup, so you'll only have one tournament. And then, of course, it turns out by the time this happens, City's out of the Champions Cup. So now really they've you know, they have all the time in the world right now because they didn't have the Champions Cup to get in the way, but now the Open Cup uh, is out for them. I know some of the fans were disappointed by the Open Cup decision. Can you explain why the Open Cup is so important in St. Louis? The Open Cup is important in St. Louis because, you know, St. Louis teams have won 11 Open Cup championships over the years. That puts them up there with, you know, cities like New York mm -hmm. for winning. You know, New York may be the only place that's won more uh, Open Cups. Uh, you know, so it's just a strong history, and this isn't a, you know, if you go back before the dawn of MLS, that the Open Cup was kind of the national championship. Mm -hmm. And so for St. Louis teams to win it, that you know, was kind of the proof that St. Louis teams were the best in the nation. Uh, and so there's a strong history, and then if you've, even in more recent times, in some of the last kind of amateur teams, or, you know, Bush seniors back in 88, won the Open Cup. So it's a which is a long time ago, but also a short time ago. So we're not just talking about Sticks, Baron Fuller, or Skull and Steel in 1921. We're talking more, more recent uh, than that. But any chance to mention Skull and Steel uh, is, is always is Or the always Ben welcome. Millers. That or the Ben Millers, too. you know. I think a lot of the teams were supported by local businesses, and yeah. the players came from local businesses, and so they were named for them. Yeah, and so St. Louis will be on the outside looking in for the Open Cup. Uh, and, and, that's, and that's too bad. And also, I think just the whole situation is bad because the Open Cup, I've talked about this before, is what links MLS to the rest of the American soccer ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And so that's, a, an, I think, an important thing. It's, it's, it reflects the sport's roots in America. And it's a way for MLS, because there is no promotion or relegation in American soccer, mm -hmm. that it's a way for lower division teams to play upper division teams. And that means a lot 
to the lower division teams. That is the highlight if you're a second or third division club when you get to play an MLS team. And occasionally, once in a while, they win too. Which so, is always exciting. Yes. Uh, so until, we'll, have to, we'll have to see what happens next year yes. with the Open Cup. Because right. it's, this it's is a one year. A one year only compromise. deal, and they'll try to they'll negotiate to try to see what they can, what they can work out. Mm -hmm. So on that note, uh, we have a, we'll have a podcast as well where we talk about this and more, all this and more, on uh, the next episode of STL Soccer Talk. But uh, in the meantime, and support local journalism, subscribe, plenty of uh, soccer coverage in the Post-Dispatch. Until next time, for Beth, for Allie behind the camera, I'm Tom. Be seeing you.